And it's so funny, it's, it's taken us almost to February here, <laughs> looking at our first big snowfall of 2023. Yeah, and of course there are kids across the state watching closely to see if they get that first <laughs> snow day of the school oh. year. But this storm may prove a tough one for school superintendents with the authority to make that call. With a look at how they make this difficult decision, let's bring in Rod Maloney, who went down to the state line to see how they're wrestling with this call. Rod. Yeah, you know, Kimberly, you have to go down to the border because that's going to be the place that's probably going to get hit the hardest. And so they're watching very carefully. And as Brandon just told us, it's going to be midday tomorrow before we really get a lot of the snow. District superintendents can't wait that long to make a decision. So everybody's going to be taking a close look tonight to see if their school gets canceled. We're right on the fringe of getting hit the hardest. Medford School Superintendent Dr. Carl Schultz sat in his temperance office this morning and watched the weather like a trained meteorologist. I think Monroe County is going to have a tough go tomorrow. Usually he rises at 4.30 a.m. and personally drives Bedford side roads for a gauge of just what his transportation and facility staff might be up against. But this time, it's different. The storm isn't supposed to arrive until after his usual 6 a.m. deadline for calling a snow day. We may very well have to call a snow day and only have a dusting on the ground because we know that if there's six inches of snow by 3 p.m. when our buses are rolling, it's very difficult. I have a thousand kids who drive at the high school. Yes, the drivers behind the wheel of his massive bus fleet are experienced still. I know that buses are heavy and large and people think that they move great on snow. They don't. And they make the turns become harder when they're in neighborhoods that are snow covered. People are putting their cars on the street because they're doing their driveways. Um, our buses routinely get stuck. Just for fun, Dr. Schultz sent out a Twitter poll question to students and staff this morning. More than 91% wanted a snow day called tonight. He says the poll is just for fun. Uh, if we're going to call it, we're probably going to call it based on the information we have this evening and give our, our, give our families time to collect themselves, get, you know, get sitters and, or maybe take a day off themselves. But uh, we want to get the most time we can. So if it sounds like he's leaning toward canceling, I think the answer to that would be yes, but you got to wait. Now, he puts it out on Twitter first, but he also puts it on clickondetroit.com. So everybody's going to want to keep their eyes on that tonight to see if, in fact, their district cancels tonight instead of tomorrow. Back to you. Rod, just curious, did you hear from any other school superintendents about this tough call? Yeah, down in... The Yes, uh, the, the Monroe superintendent called me, said he's facing the exact same problem Carl Schultz is. Mm -hmm. uh, so be looking for them on Click on Detroit tonight, too. There's a pretty good chance they may cancel as well, especially since this is, would be the first cancellation of the year. They usually average about four. Yeah, indeed. Okay, Rod, we appreciate it.